Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Libra for the month of November. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with, uh, with you. If it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Now, although I'm a reading for November, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Let's get to your reading. Libra, somebody is really missing you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this has been going on for quite some time. Um, there's information that is missing. Um, this could also, this could indicate a book that closed. And this could be somebody remembering, thinking, thirsting, longing, um, stuck in the past or stuck on a situation um, possibly where information was missing. Um, crying over spilt milk. This person is here. They're in the hangman mode and they want to escape it. They, there's a decision they want to make here and very difficult one because their heart really wants to uh, take this decision I feel to reach out to you, you know, but um, their mind, I, I feel this is more of uh, their fears um, that talk them out of it, you know, um, but they do want to escape the position of the hangman. They chose that position, so more than likely they left you, um, and here they are frustrated, um, but like the hangman in in this position that he's in, in the reverse, you can see that he's in a lot of pain. You can see that he's, he's just, uh, it's like he's, he's tried everything. He's tried every way he's twisted in different forms here. Um, and, and it's like, he just can't understand. He doesn't, he can't see a way or he's not seeing the signs. That's it. He's not seeing the signs. So, uh, he's got to shut out any distractions because he's got to go deep on this one. So the card of identity comes into play here. Investigation. Um, were they playing a role? Was I playing a role? Was I in denial? And um, what I see was uh, clearly, clearly this person has trust issues or had trust issues here in the past. Um, they may have a very, um, deep issues um, when it comes to uh, relationships or um, they could also be uh, they could be held here by their ego they could be um, in denial about what really happened and who really was to blame here and this would go way back I mean this person I feel has uh, um, low self-worth but it, it didn't come from you it came from previous experiences and and so little things that happen or things that are said um, can sometimes trigger these areas because they were never healed and, and uh, cause them to react. And the fact is that they exploded and brought in the tower because of something here that happened, possibly something that was said. With that page. It could be that they said something and they're carrying the guilt for it. Um, or they did something. Um, 
the two of swords, they need to understand and figure things out so that they can make this decision. I feel like they're in denial about who was at fault here. This could be somebody who always blames others for their problems also. Yeah, because this could be somebody who's never wrong. <laughs> never wrong because the five of swords is over here. But now, of course, it, it comes in reverse because they figure it out. Like they've been here and probably have been here for some time with the tree because the tree can speak to us, you know, uh, something long term. This could have been going on for quite some time and ended up uh, erupting and was the cause of the book getting closed, you know. But here and up to this point, he wasn't getting it, but in this reading, he gets it. He finally understands it. He finally understands it because we see he was here in the Four of Swords trying to figure something out, trying to see the truth, to understand something, uh, having to, he was very focused on, on a truth or on what happened. This could be somebody who, they did this. They uh, kind of had the bee in the bonnet there and that's all they could see was one way their way, right? Or something that they believed to be true. They did this. And it would have ended abruptly on a sharp note. Because they couldn't trust what was offered. But it's not your fault. It's the fault of open wounds that the person was carrying that never healed. It's the fault of, of, of the beliefs, old beliefs that are no, you know, that just no longer serve this person, but yet they carry. So they finally get it. They finally see it. They finally find the problem. And now you can see a shift in the reading. So this decision is about this person's happiness. They're happily ever after and a new beginning with the Empress. It's what they want. It's what uh, they, the, it's where the heart wanted to go, but the fears held them, um, held them in this place of uh, not moving, of being undecided. You know, the background here, uh, you see the, with the moon and the full moon, um, is talking about the fears, but in the heart, uh, they really, really want to do this. Okay, and we see it here in the Ten of Cups. They're very restless. Once they understand, once they, they once it clicks, They get really, really restless and they want to come out of that Four of Swords energy. They're ready. They have found the information that they need. Here they're in the Four of Swords. That's where they were down here. Okay. Now they are here and you see the chair is empty. They want to come out of there. They're leaving that position and they're coming back to you. Six of Cups. Someone's returning from the past. They're coming out of isolation. Almost gives you shivers when you, when you look at this. It's incredible. So, all right. Here they are. Here they are 
a renewed interest with this page. This can be uh, romantic messages. This is the spark that lights the flame. This is a renewed interest in bringing something to life. This is messages. Okay, I feel like there is a regret here over the Five of Swords energy that they caused back there. It's over here and it's here. It's what brought in the tower. But they're coming back. They still have a deep attraction for you. This is that sweeping you off your feet. Coming in uh, to rescue a situation. A new beginning. It's what they wanted down here with the Empress. It's here again in your future. So they're coming in. This message is about a new beginning. It is about an apology, regret. There is great passion here. Um, this is a very intense connection with that page and this king here. And they are coming to balance or restore the balance here in this situation. And you see it here. Coming in to restore the balance once again. A new offer. This person loves you. And they have been torn. Um, they had some healing to do. But they've done it. And they are coming in with an apology. They are coming in with a new offer. And there is a lot of potential in this connection with the Empress being here twice in the upright. This person is coming back to you. Oh, look at that, eh? I want to apologize. That almost feels like it belongs there. I'm going to reach out to you soon. See that? This will come by some type of message, which is what I, I mentioned. It could be an Instagram uh, message. It could be a social media request. It could be any kind of message, actually, with this page here. Okay? This can be text. Um, it could also include uh, telephone, I feel, with this, um, with this page. Um, even, I'm going to go as far to say that this person could show up on your doorstep. Definitely. Because the king is here. And if in the past they were... Oh, you know, oh, interested and then and then withdrew and then interested and withdrew. They are now ready to commit because they they go all the way from a page to a king. So there's been a great deal of growth for this person. <clears throat> excuse me, during your time apart, you see, wisdom was gained with the tree. That is what I have for you. Prepare yourself. They're coming. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Oh my goodness, I forgot to read this card. Okay, before, before, before I sign off, you have the deer. Okay. I'm so sorry. This is about um, somebody really just trying to uh, resolve a tense uh, situation. Perhaps, maybe, you see in the past they may have been um, very uh, impulsive, um, maybe unwilling to compromise. There's more of a willingness to compromise now because this, this is a card of uh, a negotiation uh, and an attempt to find a resolution, being careful how one speaks, you know, not to upset the other. 
So thinking before speaking, choosing one's words carefully. Um, they're going into an energy, this card says, where they're, they're a little bit unsure of their footing uh, because they don't know how you are going to respond to them or to this return and to what they're going to tell you. Okay, so now I'm done. <laughs> all right, so um, prepare yourself. This person's coming. Many blessings to all of you.